Good morning, gang. It's Monday morning. It is about minus 18, 20, something like that here in Wisconsin with a 30 mile an hour wind. I'm not looking forward to leaving the house this morning, but I did get up and crank the heater, got the workouts in for this morning, so feeling pretty good. It's our final week, our final push to the end. I know a lot of you guys have already hit your 4%. If you're one of those people, great job. I wish I was one of those people, but I'm not. So I am one of the people who really need to push this week, who need to dial in my diet. I got a, basically got it all planned out of what I'm going to eat for lunch at work, what I'm going to eat for breakfast. Sarah and I have talked about what we're going to have for dinner this week. And we're going to go for it. We're really going to push and see if we can hit that goal. I would love to see as many people as possible who haven't hit it yet really dial it in this week. Be posting here, saying what you're doing, saying what you're eating. Even if these first three weeks you've just kind of, for lack of a better term, half-assed it. This last week, finish strong. Just finish strong and go for it and see what you can do. The worst case is... Maybe you don't quite hit your goal, but you get really close and you feel, feel really good about yourself finishing this off, which is the most important thing. With that in mind, the final challenge for this challenge group, this week's challenge is the Be Proud and Inspire Challenge. For those of you who have been in our groups before, you, you know what this one's about. If you have not, what I want you to do is make a post, a video, a picture, something. I want you to post something that you're proud of now. Something that maybe you couldn't do when we started. Or, you know, something, a habit that has formed for you. Post something that you are proud of. I would love to see as many of you as possible post it not only in this group, but also post it out on your public wall because that's the inspire part of it. And I, I know there's a lot of people in here who have done our challenge groups in the past and they say, oh, I, I don't want to look like I'm bragging and, and, you know, and it makes them really, really nervous to post it out in public. And then what happens is they post it in public and say, here's what, here's what I did or you know, I worked really hard and I can now do 10 push-ups, or I can do this or you know, I hit my 4% diabet challenge goal. You post that out there, not only are you going to get really great positive feedback from your friends, they're going to comment, they're going to click like, they're going to say, way to go. You may get a message from someone who says, that's so great. Can you, will you help me? Will you point me in the right direction? You'd be really surprised at what a little bit of pride out there, and this is what I accomplished, can do to inspire someone else to do the same. For those of you who've done this challenge group before, if you can comment on this video with your experience where, yeah, I posted, you know, I, last challenge we had to do this and I felt really nervous and here's what happens. If you could share your story, that would be really great. So this week's challenge, be proud and inspire. Post in the group, something you can do now, maybe you couldn't do when we started, a habit that's formed, you feel good about yourself because of this, Something that gives you pride. Post it in the group. And if you are willing, post it out in your public wall. And please don't forget to tag your coach because it makes it way easier for us to track. You guys have an awesome week. For those of you local, stay warm. Although I think the whole country is basically an icebox right now. I heard it's going to snow in Florida. So whatever. You better work out because that gets your blood going and keeps you warm. Have a great week. Love you guys.